D&D Broadcasting, it's March 3rd, 2009. Uh, we have a follow-up to the story I released yesterday about the CIA destroyed tapes, the 92 tapes of, of interrogation. Um, as of yesterday, Obama ordered the release of nine memorandums having to do with the Bush administration. I just want to read you the article that I'm going to give you, the nine memorandums. Uh, this is from yesterday, March 2nd, the Associated Press. <clears throat> the Obama administration threw open the curtain on years of Bush-era secrets Monday, revealing anti-terror memos that claimed exceptional search and seizure powers and divulging that the CIA destroyed nearly 100 videotapes of interrogations and other ter treatment of terror suspects. The Justice Department released nine legal opinions showing that following the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks, the Bush administration determined that certain constitutional rights would not apply during the coming fight. Within two weeks, government lawyers were already discussing ways to wiretap U.S. conversations without warrants. The Bush administration eventually abandoned many of the legal conclusions, but the documents themselves have been closely held. By releasing them, President Barack Obama continued a house cleaning of the previous administration's most contentious policies. The Obama administration also acknowledged in court documents Monday that the CIA destroyed 92 videos involving terror suspects, including interrogations, far more than had been known. Congressional Democrats and other critics have charged that some of the harsh interrogation techniques amounted to torture a contention President George W. Bush and other Bush officials rejected. The new administration pledged on Monday to begin turning over documents related to the videos to a federal judge and to make as much information public as possible. Uh, the story goes on, um, but you can read about it yourself. I just would like to read 